welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. It's been quite a long time since I've done one of these. You'll probably either be watching this on my Druid channel or on the ONM Daily channel. Uh, things I haven't explained. This is actually my mansion now. When I last left it, it was considerably smaller, but I couldn't help adding to it in the meantime. <laughs> so I kept messing around with it, adding in weird floors um, and a roof, which if you watched the trailer you might have noticed. Uh, yeah, lag's still a problem. <laughs> um, as I go down through here, you'll see uh, the type of stairs I've added and everything. It's nothing you haven't seen before. I'll prob I think I'll just go back down just to show you what I'm at now. One of the main plans I wanted was to make Gotham City, since this is supposed to be the Bat Cave and Druid's Mansion, or you know, Wayne Mansion. It's a bit huge now and looks a bit ridiculous. So what I did was I cleared some ground out and I'm literally going to make Gotham City and I'm going to try and make it fairly huge. It took me a long time to clear the ground away. I literally cut everything so it was a flat surface. I had to get rid of a mountain which I had to basically dig completely away. This is the tunnel you've seen in the trailer and there's the mining hole I came out of. Here is the basis of the designs of Gotham City. And yeah. Yeah, each of those are going to be towers going up as far as I can put them up. This is going to be the road and the white, the footpath. Now, to make the obsidian, I'm literally doing it, doing it the old-fashioned way with lava. And that's why I need this little mine shaft going down. I'm literally taking every little piece of lava up putting it down and you'll get to see uh, the mechanics of lava. When you put lava it pours out everywhere and once water touches it it turns to obsidian. The edges of the lava just turn to cobblestone though. Which is a bit of a pain. So I try to just use a few buckets of lava at once. And as you might have just noticed I'm using pipe peaceful for once rather than um, other methods <coughs> rather than other methods I'm using peaceful uh, ra peaceful rather than just normal style difficulty because you do fall in lava and moreover whenever I'm trying to build Gotham City creepers kept jumping me so yeah that's why I'm using this setting instead as you can see, I just lean over and pick. Apparently in Minecraft, yeah, you can just put lava in buckets. If only that worked that way in real life. If only. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, professionalism. <laughs> Oh, this is just going to make it more tricky because it screws up your controls. <laughs> As you can see, when you're on fire and peaceful, it's not really all that dangerous. You can put peaceful mode on on the menu. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's finally gone. Uh, I do advise peaceful whenever you're building things. I, I like the advent I like whenever I'm adventuring to actually have the difficulty on properly. But whenever you're building things that are wide and in the open, you need peaceful on. Or else you just don't get time and creepers keep bum rushing you. <laughs> oh, uh for the future of this let's play it'll be whenever I haven't watched a movie or haven't done an anime review I'll throw on an episode and do a let's play of Minecraft I can't promise that it'll be regular but at least you'll get to see it and get to see what I'm doing um, I there are some things I do need to show in Minecraft that I actually haven't got round to yet like uh, I don't know what you call it it's like sewing or tooling or changing the ground basically so you can get like uh, seeds off it I, I just I don't know the technical name <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake I've done it again get out of the lava God, I am such a klutz <laughs> this cave um, it didn't actually take me very long to 
able to um, cut this out. I, it's so difficult to jump while on fire. It didn't take me long to cut this um, cave out. A lot of it was already done for me. I think it's easier when you're mining to actually come across caves, small caves around the place that are actually being cut, than to try and just break every cell, cell, every brick away one by one. You'll get nothing done if you do that. I got lucky when burrowing down that I actually came across a lot of small caves that I was able to look through. And one thing I really need to find now is a piece of diamond. I have two pieces, but I need a third to make a diamond pickaxe. I want to just first, you can see how far I've cut away. This took me ages to cut out. Ages. Each of these is going to be a tower, yeah, as I said. I'm using wool to make the roads. <laughs> Um, I want to first make a big outline around the whole side of it for the obsidian. Just, I don't know why, just to make it look cool, I think. And here is what I do. Bucket, move across one, bucket, move across one. You get the idea. And there we go. If there's any um, ideas you think for things I could put in Gotham City, I want to put a, a fountain with a secret passage on it in the very middle of Gotham City. <laughs> that's that's my only idea so far, aside from all the towers, which I'm obviously going to make. And as you can see, by putting a piece of water on, I make a straight line of obsidian. And the game... Ugh. This game sometimes doesn't run so well on my laptop, as you can kind of see, it freezes up and glitches on me. And there you go. And uh, I'll continue this process off-screen, you know, off-screen, um, so you don't all have to watch. Next time I cut back, I'll probably have the outline done. I'm thinking of doing maybe a joint commentary for the next episode, just to keep things a wee bit more interesting. I'll probably see if I can get Invader on from the non-tournament forums. That being said, as I said, um, if you have any ideas for things to put in Gotham City, I don't. I know I should be putting docks in, um, like in the Dark Knight movie, uh, but maybe later. There's some water way out in front of me out here um, where I could make docks. I'll have to make all the buildings first. Uh, but I, I really, yeah, yeah, Gotham should be pretty interesting to make. I also want to um, have the Batmobile be able to reach Gotham City from a side road out there. So I'm going to be building that the whole way out. That'll be interesting to see. And I want it to be a fun ride. So I might just show you only clips of me making um, the, the track for the Batmobile. Because just to have it a little reveal. So it'll be interesting and different. I find it. I've seen recently that they are bringing in a new patch for Minecraft with things called Enders in them, and I really think the Ender design is pretty cool. Oh, it, oh, oops, <laughs> that was interesting. Um, yeah, I like the idea of the Ender's design. I think it looks really, really interesting. But I think they are all. I mean, I like the pulley system, not just introducing some really cool things. And on the other hand, he needs to get a move on. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still running alpha. I'm still so far behind. Uh, whenever I do get a job that actually pays me properly, rather than I'm getting paid now, I will be getting the beta and I'll show everything new and maybe maybe get into a Minecraft server and, I don't know, maybe grief people <laughs> and put it in camera. I, I don't know if I could do that. I'd just end up feeling guilty, but maybe. Maybe. Well, now that you've seen Gotham City, and by the way, if you're wondering where I'm getting all the wool for the roads, wonder no longer. That'll be the end of this episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Until next time, goodbye. I came to dig, 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 dig. I'll build a city, I'm so big, 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 big. Just wait a sec, gotta kill this pig, pig.